Hello everyone in this video let us learn how we can uh, enable log in uh, script runner. So we have been uh, working uh, with the script runner for a while now and we have learned uh, to do so many things. In this video today I want to share how we can also do logging. And when we do logging, it really helps us to basically do some troubleshooting or if we are uh, trying to understand uh, uh, whether the script is working correctly or not, or maybe you want to uh, print something, maybe you want to see the output of uh, your script, you can actually use the uh, log and uh, uh, you can also basically enable this log by adding few lines of uh, code in your uh, current script. So this script right now that I am using is uh, simply generating or uh, basically fetching the base URL of uh, my uh, issue that is uh, Android-126. And what I want to do is I want to also enable log. And you can see here that uh, there is a tab right next to the result where you can actually see the output of uh, whatever you are uh, uh, trying to print in the log. So you can uh, enable the log by by simply adding few lines. Uh, let me do it very quickly. I already have the code. I'll just uh, paste it here. So these are uh, two import uh, statements that you need to add in your code. And along with that, you also need to define this variable called uh, log and uh, you can al also enter this uh, name or basically it could be any uh, any string that you want to basically see in your log files and uh, for the same log variable you can also uh, set the level so you have different levels when it comes to logging and you can uh, set it to maybe all or maybe warning or in this case i'm using debug and the moment you add these uh, four lines you can uh, start using your uh, log and uh, if you have to let us say add something to your uh, log uh, uh, variable and then uh, you can also take a look at your log uh, tab here so let me just run the code first right now i'm just uh, adding this uh, string script started and if i run this particular uh, code again now my log uh, tab will uh, display me this uh, useful information about uh, the time and uh, the the variable uh, name which is fetching base url this is this is really important because when you take a look at your log file you can also add this uh, log uh, information in your uh, log file as well if you want and uh, when you are analyzing your log file it is always good to have these uh, names and you can see this uh, string added to your uh, log, which is script started. Instead of this uh, hard-coded string, you can also display or you can also add uh, maybe the variable names or the temporary values. This is really useful when you're doing some uh, troubleshooting. So let us say in this particular piece of code, I am uh, uh, returning the base URL. At the same time, I also want to add this uh, in my log. So I can do log.debug. Uh, I'll uh, just do it uh, very quickly. And I'll copy the uh, the whole thing here as it is. And if uh, I want uh, now to uh, take a look at uh, my log, if let me first run this and then let us see how uh, the log is uh, displaying the information. So along with the uh, along with the output which is uh, getting returned uh, using this return statement I am also adding this uh, base URL uh, in my log so this is just one example and when you have this log enabled you can uh, basically uh, maybe just uh, add uh, a string like script started or uh, maybe script uh, ended something like that so that you know uh, where you are uh, in your uh, execution and uh, this is uh, useful because when you're doing some troubleshooting you need to basically know what is happening with your script uh, and uh, 
uh, what all variables are getting used in case you want to print them. So you can uh, just uh, display these uh, log messages wherever you want and it could be a message as I mentioned earlier, it could be uh, uh, some variable. And uh, this is very simple thing that you can do in your script by adding a few lines of code. And uh, this is all I wanted to uh, share today in this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, something new. Thank you very much.